Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to CCXRC. On the bench today, we have the Rilarlo. Rilarlo? Riario? Rilarlo. I think that's what it is. I went to the website. I thought it was Riario because of the lower cases, so I thought those were I's, but they're not. They're L's. So um, I think it's pronounced Rilarlo, but I may be wrong. Anyway, what they've got here is a pretty stinking sweet looking 14th scale buggy brushless. So we're going to go ahead and open this up, take a look at it, guys, show you what you get in the box. And uh, for about 200 bucks, doesn't seem too bad from the videos I've seen on it already. So I can't wait to open this up and see what's inside. So without further ado, the Rilarlo. Since this is an unboxing for all you box nerds out there, let's see what you get here. We've got the box art right in front of us. 2S or 3S support for uh, 100 plus kilometers an hour. Pretty cool. Uh, says climbing strong, four heavy duty off-road shocks, uh, soft all-terrain tires. And here says a top speed of 80 kilometers an hour. Uh, carbon fiber body. So, um, 14 plus ages. Here's a picture of the radio. Here's the name upside down. Here's some other stuff and 100% assembled by the factory. So yeah, let's get a look at it here. See what it looks like. A little package on top here and tells you how to assemble. We'll look at that in a minute. So it has something scratched out here that isn't included, but the accessory kit has a body clip, uh, pin, cross wrench, screwdriver, USB cable, front bumper. Swing arm kit, wow, swing arms, that's pretty cool. Uh, tire assembly screw kit, dog bones, lithium battery, and instruction manual. That is more than a lot of other cars come with. That's pretty cool. 7.4 volt battery right there in the bag. Um, let's open it up and see the rest of it. The car itself looks good. The paint on it looks awesome, or the scheme at least. And there's a little card in here. Remember, or reminder for beginners, uh, they want you to put the bumper on it before driving. So there's a padded bumper that you can put on these uh, for extra protection. That takes away that buggy look of it that we like here. Whoops, my shock. Well, I don't see oil all over. Oh, there is oil in the box. So there was oil in that shock, apparently. Uh, but it came disconnected. So, I'm going to have to do a little bit of TLC on this. Not a big deal uh, to put that back on. But um, we'll do that in a minute. And let's look at what else is in here. I can guarantee you that doesn't happen to many of them that come out of the box. I've seen a bunch of them already being unboxed and nobody has had their shock just open in the box like that. Um, here is the radio. They tell you how to use it right here. All of the directions and instructions with it are actually quite good for something like this um, that you get on Amazon. Yeah, so it definitely has oil in the shocks. I can see the oil residue here. So I will have to refill that shock. I'm gonna guess maybe 30 weight oil. We'll give it a test. But it tells you how to do everything and what they do um, as far as throttle reverses, receiver light, transmitter light, the steering wheel, throttle trigger, steering reverse, and trim rates and all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty cool that this tells you what each of these do. Um, so steering trim sets your steering. If you're going, if you're not driving straight, you can adjust that here, what your center point is. Steering rate, the amount that it'll turn. So if it's all the way up, it'll turn further. If it's lowered rate, it'll only turn a little limited amount. And then throttle trim, same basic idea. We want to probably uh, wait and adjust all this when we uh, have the car battery up. Let's look at the car. Other than the shock thing here, let's just go ahead and stop and fix this real quick. I doubt that yours would come like this if you ordered one but I don't hide stuff when I unbox it because you know what it may yours may have come like this and you may think that only that kind of stuff happens to you 
but it happens to all of us. Every once in a while, you get the one that has a little bit more work involved for some reason. Um, but here we go. Let's take a look at it. Paint scheme looks good. This isn't a carbon fiber body. I'm gonna guess that this is what they mean by the carbon fiber body. And that is actually the chassis itself is made out of carbon fiber, which is pretty cool. Um, it does come with additional, let's, let's pause everything. Cause this is, cause this is pretty cool. What they give you, nobody else does this, especially at the cost. So you get an extra bumper. You get your charger and your battery. Again, price 200 bucks. Charger and battery. You get extra dog bones and CVDs, so you get your one rear set and one front set. So if you have something happen to one, you can keep driving. How cool is that? Same with, look at that. Arms. If you break an arm, it comes with spare arms and hinge pins and things in here. So crazy. And then if you lose one of your little uh, wheel nut backers here that they've got here, little washer, extras, extra hexes. I'm, I'm quite impressed. Tools to work on it. Um, you get quite a bit. Manual, let's just look at it since we're here in the bag. Uh, tells you how to do it. Three AA batteries. Tells you about the radio there. Um, how to put work on them, parts explosions, that kind of stuff. All kinds of things in here to help you learn how to use it and to work on it pretty cool all right extra body clips that's always handy i'm constantly losing those body clips from any car that i get it's just something i do first thing we'll do is we'll take the body off because it'll allow us to see inside of here and we'll just see body actually feels pretty good pretty thick without being too thick We'll see how that holds up. Remove the transparent protective film before driving. So they still have the film on here. So the body's gonna look even better when we take that off. Oh, it does. The shine is much nicer. Sweet. All right. So I can't say that I've seen a carbon fiber chassis on a buggy like this before. Uh, I'm not a big buggy racer, so maybe that's something they do. It's really light. It's going to be durable. Pretty cool. They did it to the shock towers as well. Those are made out of carbon fiber. You can see it, the patterning there. Uh, you get metal shocks with metal shock caps. Uh, metal turnbuckles here. Metal drive shafts. So these are CVDs. Look at the, the adjustability here more carbon fiber up here on your bell crank setup um, servos tucked in down here looks like a little mini servo curious how that is as far as power i know i've got some other mini servos i could try out potentially if i uh, wanted a little bit more uh, it's an all-in-one combo esc and receiver unit so um, this little whole box here, not only is it bound to the radio here, but it also is what is powering the car. So you're going to plug your battery into it. Does use T-style connectors here. So these are Dean's style plugs. Um, it's got a green can motor in here. Looks interesting. We'll have to do some more digging, try and find out what kind of uh, motor this is here as far as the rating on it. But um, it looks mighty quick from the uh, videos I've seen of it driving. Um, does have a plastic wing on here. This isn't a Lexan wing. The carbon fiber again here, shock tower. It is using Phillips hardware on here. So the screws and all that are Phillips, which it does come with a screwdriver. And most people have screwdrivers, so that's not a bad thing. It does up here have a servo saver that's built in right in here and so it tightens up there's a little threaded piece down in here that you twist to tighten or loosen that um strap here velcro for your batteries let's take off one of these wheels see what the hexes and all that look like underneath here uh, you have a nut on the back side of your hinge pins so i'm actually noticing too these are carbon fiber hinge pin carriers here so those should be plenty strong. Dog bones in the rear. 
tires don't feel great um, but again it's entry level and I, my main curiosity is going to be with these tires is how well do they hold up so I had the associated 14 scale buggy which was awesome the reflex 14 B I think it was awesome livery on that too uh, but the tires would wear out so fast okay so it has metal and interesting the way that they've done that without having just a pin through it it's like slotted for these to go on so it's a good thing they do give you extras because that's a that is an interesting design for that which should make it actually more durable so you can see here in the hub dog bone style there and in here at the diff so it looks like yeah you've probably got a slipper assembly here front and rear diff it looks pretty good you know I get a lot of requests to do videos on these things and I say no to a lot this one kind of struck my fancy I like these smaller style buggies um, I've had them in the past and they've been quite durable and so I was just curious new company again I thought it was Riario now have since learned it's Rolarlo and uh, I think as an early offering this doesn't look too bad so again oil filled <laughs> three of them are oil filled one of them leaked out the oil but they are oil filled shocks uh, when you do get them from Rolarlo and everything looks pretty cool this drive shaft in here is metal as well center drive shaft is metal in there Looks like it's a pretty decent little buggy. Again, I say that knowing that I've seen a bunch of other people running this thing and it being nuts and very durable. So I am excited about it. I'm just first time looking at it in person and I'm kind of impressed by what I see. And then taking the other knowledge that I've seen from other people driving it, that really excites me about this. So let's throw a little 30 weight in there. Alrighty guys, here goes nothing. Rolarlo. It is fast. Ooh. On this asphalt, it drifts like crazy. Impressive stock speed for a car this cost and this size. Wow. It is, I think I actually want to turn the rates of the steering down a little bit for right now. So it doesn't want to spin out so easy. Yeah, that's better. Turn down the steering rate. It doesn't want to slide out as easy normal throttle input Let's see what kind of range we got all the way out to the street way out there wow oh oh i crashed in the grass walk of shame i mean i seriously couldn't have crashed that any further away for me to have to walk it's ridiculous way out at the street so walk of shame things uh, i'm noticing already crazy fast lots of speed very small loud motorcycle but the steering rate if it's all the way up is very uh sensitive i guess and for something so small it's easy with little minor adjustments to really make it go uh, crazy there it is so I would turn down the steering rates a bit so that 
uh, you have a little bit more control of it. We'll rip it up and down the driveway here and then see if it can handle the grass. Back in business. Wow. It moves. It is definitely a ripper, guys. So now... Oh, don't go down the hill. Come on. Don't make me go in that poison ivy. I'm sure there's something poison over here. There it goes, jumped. We're gonna have a little bit more reverse speed. It's got plenty of forward speed. I mean, it wants to do wheelies, this little buggy. There it was. Do one more of those jumps in slow motion here. Shock came undone, and we lost one of our. One of our drive shafts is missing. Don't plan to dig in there. Luckily, it came with an extra one. All righty, guys. Well, I got to go back to uh, the studio, put this thing back together, try and find out what's going on with the shock and why it isn't uh, holding. I can also feel already the motor feels pretty hot for that little bit of running. So we'll see how hot it feels. It's pretty hot. Uh, and I haven't been running it for very long. So it's geared pretty high. I was doing some speed runs, just going hardcore on the speed full trigger pulls but yeah I mean it's still safe zone but I couldn't run it much longer like that because it's definitely hot um, so I'll get it charged back up we'll see I noticed when I was trying to put this shock cap back on um, I don't know if there's something wrong with the threading on it but it seemed like it was wanting to pull apart it was not screwed on very well for me so I need to look into that a little bit closer this time um, I thought I had it I gave it a couple tugs on it and it didn't pull off so um but under that hit there it did so we'll uh we'll give it another look see what's going on with that but um it's quite impressive the speed that this has out of the box on 2s it's also impressive how loud the street is here with everybody flying by at 70 miles an hour but guys, that's my just first quick experience with the Rilarlo. Um, mine so far has been having a couple problems, mainly with this shock. Again, I haven't seen other people have issues with it, so um, may just be me. But we show you guys everything that goes on here. I don't think that it makes it a bad car, especially since there's not really other issues with this I've seen. Um, so... I will uh, give this another look. We'll put some more shock oil in it and get it out and do some more run footage with it for you guys.